there are certain fruits that could be making your weight loss incredibly difficult. They could be literally sabotaging your weight list so much that you might just completely give up. And I don't want you to give up on your weight loss journey, so make sure you listen all the way until the end of this section. So let's first discuss what makes a food bad for weight loss. A food that is low in satiety or the ability to make you feel full and a food that is also high in calories are very, very detrimental to weight loss. And if you think about it, that makes sense because if you're eating a fruit, for example, or just any food, for example, that is not really keeping you full and it's really high in calories, what are you likely to do? Eat more of that food because you're not full. So some of these uh, fruits we're gonna look at are um, basically this exact thing. They're very high in calories and very low in satiety or the ability to make you feel full. So these are going to be um, in a per cup serving and they are going to start with the highest calorie fruits um, and go down to some of the uh, lowest um, of the highest calorie fruits. Um, because even the ones at the bottom are still pretty high in calories. Um, so ultimately just, I would keep all of these fruits at a, um, a minimum if you're trying to lose weight. Uh, coconut, we all know coconut, right? We add that to our um, drinks and stuff. We uh, probably don't eat a plain coconut plain is not the tastiest, but um, 684 calories per cup of coconut. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Uh, durian, we don't have this in the States very much, but durian is an exotic fruit um, that actually smells really bad. Uh, just kind of one of the, the funny things about it. Avocado, this is something I just tossed in because I just wanted people to realize that avocado um, is technically a fruit, even though it's not really fruity. It's kind of one of those big, you know, um, is a tomato a fruit type thing or if it has seeds. So anyway, we just tossed it in here. Avocado, very high in calories because it is very um, high in fat. Sharamoya, uh, again, not something that we have in the States very often. 227 calories uh, per cup. Uh, banana. Oh man, this is something that some people are gonna hate hearing. 200 calories of a banana, if technically you uh, bring it into a um, cup serving, it's gonna be about 200 calories. This is why a lot of times people can use bananas as uh, replacements in baking goods because they're so high in calories because they have a lot of sweetness and sugar in them. And the sweetness and sugar isn't necessarily bad. It's not like the, the sugar and the, the fruit is bad necessarily. It's just a little bit higher in calories than some other fruits like melons and berries, okay? Uh, jackfruit, this is another one we don't see in the States too often, but 155 calories. Um, pomegranates, so this is something that's uh, might be shocking because a lot of people think that pomegranate's like a, a golden fruit, right? Like, oh, it's got everything there. Pomegranate is uh, fairly high in calories, right? 144 calories per cup. Lychee, um, this is a kind of an Asian um, fruit. I believe it's white. I've had this one time. It, it was it was pretty good. It kind of tastes like a grape. Um, 136 calories, and then mango, uh, 107. Passion fruit, 97 calories. So. Those are just some fruits that you should definitely consider uh, eating at a minimal interval, right? Not too often. And some other additions I wanted to talk about that I think are important because a lot of people uh, will be consuming these things and it leads them to destroying their weight loss goals. Um, and some of those things are fruit juices, now, the issue with fruit juice is, yes, you are getting the nutrients, the vitamins and minerals from it, um, from squeezing all the juice, but you're not getting any of the fiber from the fruit itself, okay? And fiber is extremely cardioprotective in helping your heart health, and fiber also helps to keep you full. So if you think about it, when you're trying to lose weight, you want foods, again, that are very high in satiety and help to keep you full. 
Fruit juices do not do that at all. They're very high in calories, extremely easy to over, I was gonna say overeat, but over drink on. A lot of people don't even register uh, drinking fruit juice as even calories, but it still counts. It will still lead you to gain fat on your body. Another thing that is very dicey is dried fruit. Um, a lot of times with dried fruit, it's a very small portion of it for a large amount of calories. And the reason for this is because a lot of that water is taken out of the fruit, basically almost all the water. And that water is a way that makes the fruit be more high satiety, okay? So uh, the water, if you think about it, you drink a glass of water, that fills your stomach up a little bit. Well, the same thing happens when you eat some fruit. Some of the stuff that keeps you full from the fruit is actually the water intake um, of the fruit. So when you're eating dried fruit, it completely takes that out of it. Um, so again, eating dried fruit in a minimum, you know, you can get your servings of fruit from it, but you're taking out a lot of the reason why you would eat fruit to begin with. Um, some canned fruits too, this is diabolical. Uh, some manufacturers will actually add extra sugar to canned fruits, which is terrible for your overall health if you think about it. And it's also terrible for your weight loss. So you're eating this fruit, you're thinking you're doing so good, and then there's literally 20 grams of extra added sugar added in this heavy syrup in it. So it's gonna taste really delicious. It's gonna taste really, really sugary and, and uh, quote unquote fruity, but it's not even the taste of fruit at that point. It's just added sugar. Um, why do you need to add sugar to fruit? It's already got sugar in it, natural sugar, fructose, which makes it taste delicious. Uh, so just realize to try to get uh, either no sugar added options or just go towards whole fruits. Of course, that's probably one of the better things. And <laughs> this is something I wanted to add just because I think people uh, will people will find any excuse to, to not eat healthy, but I always hear people say, oh yeah, I just had some apple pie, I'm eating healthy, and they actually mean it. Or they say, oh, I just had um, a burger and fries, but uh, there was a little bit of pineapple on the burger, so I'm eating healthy. Well, if you combine healthy food with a bunch of unhealthy food in these examples, it basically negates the health aspect. Maybe you'll be getting a serving of it, but you're going to be eating so many calories from that combined food, it's basically like you didn't even eat the fruit overall. So don't be thinking just because you're eating a large piece of apple pie um, or some berry cobbler that you're going to be uh, eating healthy in that exact instance because you know you got a little bit of fruit. Yes, you did, but there's so much extra sugar and extra um, unhealthy fat usually added to these things. Just something to realize. If you learn something new from this section, uh, potentially some different uh, fruits that you didn't realize were high calorie, go ahead and drop a like and comment down below and let me know which of these fruits you've had and if you were surprised on any of them um, for their overall uh, health value and calorie goals.